I'm definitely a person who likes being involved with my community. I'm a person who uh, gets a lot out of direct action. If there is a protest that I can go to, I will be there without a doubt, uh, if it's something I care about. I think that showing up and showing out is the best way to prove your support for things. I'm not someone with money, so that's the way that I feel that I can uh, support causes in that way, but I'm definitely looking for someone who is willing to at least support me in that, if not, like, being willing to attend such congregations with me. I don't think that I could date someone who's not fully aware of where they stand in the world and what privilege they have and what privilege they don't have and at what intersections of oppression they exist. I mean, I think that's important. I think that's kind of basic, but... Yeah. I'm, you'd we be surprised. Hope that <laughs> we hope. Um, okay, so when you're not... Saving animals or making I'm cars. not saving them. Whoa. You work at an animal hospital. Chicken, you I'm checking them in. Yeah. Yeah. Let me that is you. a part of saving them. Okay, that yep. is step one. <laughs> How if they can't be saved if they don't get in? That's true. When you're not working, what do you like to do with your social life? Are you act socially active? Do you go out a lot or are you more of a homebody? I'm very socially active. Uh, I'm very much an extrovert. I have to be doing things at all times. All right, so if someone canceled plans on you, what do you do? Oh, that's fine. I'll make other plans. Okay. <laughs> um, you're down yeah. quick. You're like, I'm, yeah. I'm not out of There's a bar around the corner from my house that allows dogs. I'm good. Oh. I don't, yeah. I'm hey, chill. Yeah. You're, set, you're set up. Oh, yeah. Popcorn loves it there. It's great. He fell asleep last time we were there, so... Okay, you wanna, you wanna talk about some spicy, spicy sex? Absolutely. <laughs> I love it! It's what I came here for, actually. Yes. I was like, literally, my notes are just like, this much Logan's life, this much sex. <laughs> Accurate. Are you into any specific kinks? Do you like them all? Do you dislike any? I'm willing to give a good college effort to anything, okay. except feet. Did you finish college? No! <laughs> Come on! Katie! Neither did I! That's why no, I did I got that. kicked out after the first semester. Oh, okay. I made it a year. Good for you! Like, thank you. I was in New Jersey and I said, you know what? That's fine. I'll stay home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so you're willing to give everything a good old. Yeah, yeah, especially if the other yeah, especially if the other person is really into it. That that's more of a turn on than the kink itself. Yeah, is yeah. what they're getting out of it mm -hmm. and helping them. Yeah, them absolutely. Exactly. I've, I've done plenty of things that I've been like, oh yeah, that sounds fine, but seeing the other person get off on it is like, oh yeah, I'd do this a million times over. So you obviously have a very strong presence and know who you are. Oh gosh, okay? thank you. Are you looking for someone that has a little bit more of like sub energy or do you like also want someone with like a domineering energy? Yeah, so I'm open to anything. I uh, have had some more gender affirming surgeries under my belt. So I'm a little, I, I, I dipped into the sloppy bottom uh, pool over the summer. Okay. And you know what? It was, it was fun. It was good. It was fine. Uh, it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm very switchy. I'm very open to anything. Uh, as long as there's like very uh, clear expectations laid before me. Okay. You just like things to be discussed. Yeah, I'm not, listen, I've been through the ringer. I, I'm i very blunt and very honest. I don't know how to be anything else. Uh, and so I like need very upfront communication about things because uh, that's what I give to my partners and that's what I expect back. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's like the only healthy way to engage in sex Especially with when you're doing non-monogamy. Like, you, yes. uh, I, I'm going to be very upfront about who I'm sleeping with, when I'm sleeping with them, what the status of that is, and I expect it to be reciprocated. Oh, hey! Can you please hand the mic to the people and let them introduce themselves? Name and pronouns, please. Uh, hey, <laughs> My name's Don, like the sunrise, they done. Okay. Logan, do you have any questions oh, for these got... beautiful people? Yeah, I prepared to. Yes, love it. First question is uh, fuck, marry, kill the CTA train lines. <laughs> 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 this is <insane. laughs> We're gonna fuck the red lines because that's gonna be a great time. <laughs> uh, 
very blue, big blue, you know, they, they're good to pick you up from the airport. You need that consistency. <laughs> and kill? I mean, who's first? I don't know. Who <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them can burn? <laughs> I my special interest is public transit, so I love this question. Um, I moved here a year ago, and I challenged myself to go to the end of every train line that I have, um, because I used to work at outreach for Howard Brown, so I'd like go to all the neighborhoods that need to be serviced. High key, um, marry the Brown Line. I love going over the river. I think it's really romantic. I work off the Brown Line now, so like I get to like go to my little corporate job and like we're at a nonprofit and like see the beautiful river when I come in. Um, kill the blue line, she ghosted me. Vengeful! <laughs> <laughs> very vengeful. I was uh, with some friends, they were on the come down, and I drove them back from the Garfield Park Conservatory, so they gave me a half to have of acid. And I was on the come up, and the train didn't show up for an hour and a half, and that's not a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> The opposite of the trip. I walked home. It was really <laughs> I guess this is like what kind of fuck I'd want, which the answer right now would be like something short and sweet but nice. Like the orange line, <laughs> right here, and I'm leaving at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know because I'm too new for any of these. I moved here maybe a few months ago. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So we're still learning. <laughs> Good to know. What is the largest animal you would fist fight to protect me? <laughs> All right. Um, definitely, I would go for like like a Great Pyrenees, okay. like an Irish Wolfhound. I mean, they could like do some damage. I'd yeah. Say, no. <laughs> I can't fight. Um, I, um, I wear running shoes most of the places I go for safety in case people um, harass me on the red line. So uh, what I would offer is a piggyback ride um, away from like a cougar because I can run really fast and my legs are really strong and I lift people and dance. So that's my mm. step. Wow. You look like you're better at fighting than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> we love it. Do you know who you want to have a drink with? Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this, so I'm gonna say Katie. <gasps> yeah! Katie! We love it! Hot potato.